cookies in Texas and Georgia. They know barbecue, they know big, bold flavors, and so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to some big eats today. <laughs> well, let's move down the line to uh, one of the uh, only chefs that has appeared, uh, goes down in the uh, Cuban Stadium. Uh, Chef uh, nice to have you here today. What do you think of the action as it unfolds? The ingredient is delicate, and it's going to need to be brought to life by the other things that they choose to pair it with. And I'm hoping that no one goes too far over the edge and obscures the delicacy of the ingredient. That's going to be the real challenge today. That's what I'm feeling. Bone crusher, tell me you've had elk. No, I've, I've never had elk, but I've never had bison. I, I, it may be sort of the same kind of meat, but uh, I heard it's lean, so hopefully we can get some fantastic uh, red meat. Okay, this is cold now, though. Well, uh, hunger is the appropriate uh, sauce uh, to bring to a meal like this. How do you zoom in with this? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Did you put this arrow up? No, that's not it. I have to do that. I can't explain it. you got to focus in on that thing on our head. How did I do that before? And the air chip and brown sugar that makes too. There we go. Looking a lot like barbecue sauce. You have to push this up. Yeah, okay. Our chef keeping an eye on all the happenings in his kitchen. Coordination between chefs is a very important part of the thing. We can see Dan taking the skin off of those quickly roasted pork chops. Our chef is taking the skin off of those quickly roasted peppers on his side. We also have red cat.